Today we'll be looking into chapter 34, section number two, which is about how Southeast Asian nations gain independence. The three areas that they'll be taking independence from were the colonizers of the United States, which would be for the Philippines. We also have some British colonies that are gaining independence. And then we also have some Dutch colonies that gained independence as well. We'll first stop at the Philippines and how they achieved independence from the United States. Now, the United States granted independence to the Philippines in 1946. The U United States also, though, provided aid to the Philippines. One of the reasons was because the Philippines were heavily attacked and bombed by the Japanese during World War No. 2, and the United States provided $620 billion in loans. In return, though, the United States wanted both free trade and the ability to keep military bases in the Philippines for the purposes of competing against China and Russia. Many Filipinos were against this idea of military bases being kept in the Philippines, and the U.S. eventually removed them in 1992. To really think about that critically, if you are from the Philippines, you may not want to have those military bases there because it does make you a target, which was evident in World War II. I'm going to talk about some key leaders from Marcos to Ramos. Uh, Ferdinand Marcos ruled the Philippines as a dictator from 1966 to 1986. Eventually, he was defeated in an election by Corazon Aquino. She ran against Marcos in 1986 and won. She ended up being Time Magazine Woman of the Year. One of the big factors here is that Marcos refused to step down, but the public outcry forced him to eventually leave. In 1992, Fidel Ramos succeeded Aquino as the next president. One of the things that we want to take a look at in the Philippines is how the government battled rebels. There was a terrorist group in the Philippines called Abu Sayyaf. They began to create a rebellion. This is part of a Muslim organization that uses terror tactics in an attempt to form its own state. ISIL, ISIS, the Islamic State, all related. This is a branch of that. The United States sent aid to the Philippines once again to help stop this terrorist issue. And so that's basically some of the early ways that the Philippines gathered independence. And now we'll take a look at how the British colonies gained independence in Southeast Asia, starting with Burma. Burma is now known as Myanmar. They won independence from the British in 1948. The military took control around 1962 and in some factions still continues to rule today. Uh, we're going to talk Malaysia and Singapore. The Federation of Malaya was created in 1957. This united several lands and peoples. They had to break away from the British. They were supported in a communist faction by the Soviet bloc. Um, and so it was quite a controversial revolution. Singapore also broke away in 1965 to become an independent city state. One of the things to remember about Malaysia and Singapore is that they were actually able to successfully build thriving economies after gaining independence from the British. Now, I'm going to show you a quick map. Um, here's the areas that we're talking about. These are the Philippines, okay, gaining independence in 1946. Here's Burma, which is now called Myanmar. You've got Malaysia. There's uh, divided islands here in the yellow. Singapore is a very small blot of Malaysia in the west down here. And then we'll be learning about Indonesia here in just a moment. Okay, next we'll take a look at Indonesia gaining independence from the Dutch. They were led by a individual named Sukarno who went by that one singular name. He led the independence movement. Indonesia gained independence from the Dutch in 1949. They were led by this military leader and first president named Sukarno. He led the independence movement. He was backed by a guerrilla army. One of the things about Sukarno is that he wanted to help spread democracy and democratic ideas. So during the Cold War, the Western powers like the United States would want to support groups that were pushing for democracy. 